Many of you have tweeted and asked questions about the upcoming trip to Africa by the First Family. Uh, and this is a really important trip for us because the President was not able to travel to Africa except for a brief stop in Ghana uh, in his first term. And this is a continent where we see growing economies, emerging democracies, important security challenges that we have to deal with. And this trip is really going to be a central pillar of the President's effort to deal with those issues in his second term. Uh, he will be joined by his family, uh, including the First Lady, who also recently uh, traveled to South Africa herself, where she was able uh, to speak with young people, uh, promote our agenda of youth and women's empowerment, and meet with Nelson Mandela. On this trip, we're going to go to three democracies who are all key partners of the United States, Senegal and West Africa, South Africa, and then Tanzania uh, in East Africa. And there are going to be a number of important issues the President's going to address. One is how can we advance our trade and investment relationships with Africa? There are actually some significant economic growth opportunities taking place, and we believe that if we can invest in Africa now, that'll be good for the African continent, but ultimately that's going to be good for the United States because we can break into significant new export markets. We're also going to talk about our development programs, and Africa has clearly been a centerpiece of our development policy on issues like global health and fighting HIV AIDS, promoting food security, uh, and helping to power Africa to connect them to the grid of the global economy, uh, which will also help foster greater economic growth and closer economic ties. And we'll also discuss democracy. Uh, each of these countries is a democracy. South Africa, of course, has set an extraordinary example for the continent through the leadership of Nelson Mandela, above all else. And the President will talk about the importance of having strong democratic institutions, uh, not just elections, but parliaments, judiciaries, honest police forces, the building blocks for lasting democracy. So the President will discuss that at each uh, stop along the way. Uh, he'll have an opportunity to have bilateral meetings with his counterparts. Uh, he'll have an opportunity to speak to young people uh, in several uh, locations, given the huge youth bulge that exists in Africa. And we see this as a very important opportunity to advance our agenda in one of the most important emerging regions in the world today. Uh, and the President is very pleased that given that it's the summer, he'll be able to be joined uh, by his family, including the First Lady, who herself will have some independent events where she'll focus on the things that she cares about, including the empowerment of women and girls and young people, which is so critical to the development of a successful society. Uh, so we look forward to keeping you updated uh, from the road, uh, and we look forward to a very important trip to Africa.